Good morning, my G's, and welcome back to day three. Is it day three or is it day four? I don't even remember anymore. We literally come out and do the exact same thing every day. But that's like any job, though. Any job you go to, it's repetitive. And that's what the elite want. That's what the people on top, the sharks, the whales, that's what they want us to do. They want us to do these repetitive tasks over and over and over again till we die. But we can't do that, guys. We got to move on in life. We got to see the world. We got to go explore some mountains. We got to get on top of the first mountain, get down the first mountain so we can go up the next mountain, which is bigger. That's what the sharks and the whales are doing. They're always doing different things. They're on the helicopters while we're on the bus. You know, they're in the Lambo while we're in the Toyota. That's just how it is, right? That's why we got to make money and we can't really make as much money as we want with this job, but we can use this job to build up another business, which is exactly what we're doing. I did start off today with a McDonald's order. I actually am at McDonald's again. This is my second order. The first one was $6. This one was $8 and some change. So you guys always see my uh, entire earnings at the very end of the video. I post all of the screenshots of how much I made. Some people don't believe me, so they can add it up themselves. Other than that, it says that it's going to rain all day today so hopefully that means a lot of money if it's slow and it's raining then uh, it's not gonna be a good day so let's see what we can do today to McDonald's it's a decent start not as good as that $57 spark from yesterday though I really don't want to do this order, but I've been sitting here with nothing, so $5, it's only 1.4 miles. The reason I don't like doing the small orders down here, let me see if I can zoom out from here. All right, give me one sec, let me zoom out from this map. So for me, if I'm going to get something that's going through this intersection, I want it to pay a little bit better. It is still early though, so the traffic's not going to be too bad. I can tell by uh, it's not backed up over here, so I'll go inside, I'll, I'll pick up this $5 order. At least it's some money. We're going to have to go ahead and poop on Kyle because I also picked up a $6.50 cent DoorDash order. I did just pick up the Chick-fil-A and now we have to go to Panera to pick this order up. Wow, they hid 50 cents for me on that order. That's actually pretty decent though. I mean, I did the $5 order plus that. What's this? $8 Starbucks, 3.8 miles. I also got to grow up, I kind of don't want to go down there because that road is still closed. Tyrone Restaurant, I have no idea where that is, what that is, and I'm not going to do that one. Order and pay for $7. Yeah, you're crazy. $8 though, Treasure Island. Ah, you know what? Keeps me moving. It's just that one road going to Treasure Island. It's still closed. Like, I tell, like, no joke. When they do road work here in my area, they could say, like, oh, it'll only take like two weeks or four weeks or a month, and then it'll end up taking like a year. Yeah, probably a year, maybe two years, something like that. So I gotta see where am I supposed to go with this. Okay, so I gotta go that way. Gotcha. How can we do this then? I guess we're gonna have to go in the middle here, right? Right, that, that, that would make sense. And then we squeeze right in front of this guy, cut him off, very nice. Freaking took forever with that Starbucks because the first bag that they gave me, they piled everything into one small bag. So the coffee started leaking at the bottom and I was like, I wonder if it's leaking or maybe they just put it on a wet surface. And then it started getting wetter and wetter and wetter as I was holding it. And I was like, yeah, no freaking way. The thing is, uh, the coffee was leaking. $5, five miles, not gonna do that one. How many people are coming? Uh, I think I can squeeze in right after trucky walk over here. All right, good. I actually did see they opened up the lane over there now so it's not going to be backed up traffic over here anymore so that's good at least for the time being i looked at what they did and it was absolutely nothing i think they were fixing the sidewalk there was nothing there was absolutely nothing wrong with the sidewalk and by the way the weatherman said it was supposed to start raining like an hour and a half ago and it has not rained at all. I tried giving Tyrone a chance again over here, but nobody's ordering anything, and I've been sitting here for quite a bit of time. The car was actually off, and then it started raining, so I had to turn on the car. But since the car is already on, I might as well try to make my way over towards Seminole and see if I can scoop up something on the way over there, or maybe even get something from the plaza. I can't believe I'm even considering this, but $5.14 for 2.3 miles, I literally have to take that. I mean, nobody wants anything today. Nobody wants any food, nobody wants any groceries, nobody wants any drinks, nobody wants any alcohol, nobody wants anything. They just woke up today and everybody said, you know what, I have everything I need. So that's why I decided to do the McDonald's order. At least it gives me something to do. I'm gonna make some money, even if I only make $5 for the entire hour. Was food delivery when I was in fifth grade. This mom, the mom ordered the food for her son, 
Bro, she ordered him a quarter pounder with cheese, some fries, a drink, a tangy barbecue sauce for the fries too. Man, I remember when I was in fifth grade, fourth, fifth grade, my mom used to pick me up after school. Oh, those were good times, man. My mom would pick me up from school, she'd be waiting for me out in the car circle, and she would have Happy Meals for me. Bro, those were the days, y'all remember them days, man? You used to be a kid, your mom would pick you up from school, you know? I'd be like, mommy, where's the Happy Meal? <laughs> I used to, oh, I used to suck down those things, man. Those, nowadays, kids be eating double quarter pounders and Big Macs, man. When I was a kid, and we had them Happy Meals, because back then, things were bigger, too, right? The hamburgers, nowadays, they're like, they're like this big. But the hamburgers, when we were kids, bro, them things were like this big. You get them fries with it, too. You get the toy. Oh, I remember they used to smell so good. I used to look forward to that. And then the days where my mom wouldn't get me a Happy Meal, or she wouldn't get me a Happy Meal, oh, I'd be so sad. I'd be like, oh, no, no Happy Meal. <laughs> we got food at home. I don't want food at home. I want a Happy Meal. Before I forget, I do also want to mention I picked up a $14.14 shopping order from this Walmart right here, four and a half miles. It did show 15 items, but they're all on one side of the store. That's what the main thing I was looking for is because there's no tip on this. I don't feel like walking across the store for a no tipper uh, but everything's on the same side so hopefully it doesn't take too long don't get me wrong when I say this man I love babushkas but man they should not be working in this old age man I know the economy is different it's a lot rougher right now but it's just every single time I go in there and I need a cart check they have absolutely no idea what to do I have to literally explain it to them every single time and I'm like oh you have to just scan three things so I can go but they don't do that they just look at my phone they look at the cart and say okay yeah looks good you can go uh, you, you honestly, if you wanted to, I'm not saying to do this, you shouldn't do this, but if you were desperate, in that Walmart, if you were doing Spark, you literally could probably walk out with hundreds of dollars worth of merchandise, and they probably would not even bat an eye. you just say, yeah, I'm with Spark, and they'd probably just be like, oh, okay. <laughs> they, they, they would not care at all. Maybe the guy at the front door would stop you. I'm sure they would, you know, if you have a lot of stuff in your cart. Sometimes they don't even stop you either. Sometimes they just look at you and say, okay, bye-bye. I just had a funny but eye-opening conversation with that last customer as I was getting her ID. She was talking about how the last person in the app, it said, Rebecca is delivering your order, but it was a middle-aged uh, dude that delivered the order. And what happened is, she has a ring camera, right? So what happened is, he put the groceries down, he took a picture of it, and then he picked all of the groceries back up, and then he took it with him. And she was so... Like, I, I mean, anybody would be distraught about that, right? But that's kind of your competition out here. That's the people, that's your colleagues, right? That's the people who you call coworker. And then you wonder why nobody tips. And that's what she told me. She's like, yeah, I don't even tip on the app anymore because what's the point? They literally, because Walmart probably just ends up giving them everything. Walmart probably, uh, honestly, Honestly, Walmart gives them everything. They give them the tip, a bonus, extra base pay, and then they end up getting to steal all those groceries. And that's why a lot of these orders that you see are no tip. Uh, 549, 6.5 miles. I actually should have went into the other lane because I should have... I should have probably went to Seminole. Dang it, yeah, because if I go this way, I'm gonna end up going back to Tyrone, but Tyrone's really far, whereas Seminole is close by. Let's go ahead and make this quick. $7, 2.6 miles, DoorDash. We got that one, accept that one. Okay, why didn't it accept it? Okay, it went away. $10.60, 5.3 miles. Can we accept this one? Why did it not accept my DoorDash one? I really wanted to stack it. Can I go back to that? They, they just, did they, really? So I didn't get the order. No, no, it's there, it's there. Let's freaking go! Okay, so we just got a stack, as you guys saw. Both are going relatively similar directions. That Uber one's gonna have to wait a little bit because the chicky salad chick does veer off a little bit. And that's okay, right? If you veer off a little bit, that's okay. Just don't go all the way over here and then go all the way back over here, right? That's not gonna work. You're gonna get a contract violation. But let's go pick up the chicky salad chick first. And then, because Miller's is slow. And Miller's is always freaking slow. We'll pick up the DoorDash first. And then, actually, should we go to Miller's first? Uh, I don't know, because both of them are kind of slow. What's today, Friday? Ooh, Friday at 12 o'clock, both are gonna be slow. Whatever, we'll just go chicken salad chick first. This one has four items, and then hopefully, by the time we get this, the Millers will be ready as well. The chicken salad chick order was a hand to me. I've delivered to that girl in the past. $7 what was shown, that is what we got, but that's cool because we also got that $10 Uber that we're on the way to do right now, and I don't know if that one's gonna have any hidden tip, just because it's only two items, and uh, usually when it's small item counts like that, I mean, it's not impossible, to get a hit in. I just don't think it's gonna be anything massive. 
a successful poop job, we were able to turn a $7 order into a $17 order. Now the only thing is this did leave us in Largo. There's a couple places over here like a Panera, which I hate picking up from, and Applebee's and a couple of other things. So maybe we could get something taking us back to, what an inconspicuous stop sign. It's like hidden in the bushes. But uh, yeah, we can try to get something on the way back. If not, then it is what it is. We'll try to get what we can. That's what I like to see, an order on the way back to the plaza, $7.32 to go 2.9 miles. It ain't gonna be 2.9 miles because I'm on the way, Ruth. Okay, what do you want? Baconator, double stack, Asiago Ranch, classic chicken sandwich, sour cream and chive baked potato. Wow, this should have been a lot more than $7.39. You would think, right? Because, I mean, it is fast food. And a lot of people will say, well, fast food is cheap. Not really. Fast food really is not as cheap as people make it seem anymore. Is that the new Tesla? Is that the, is that the Highlander Tesla? Because it's spelling out Tesla on the back, but that's not the right headlights. I guess he just did that himself. Anyways, let's go to, uh, where am I going? Oh yeah, Wendy's. Something in that Wendy's order smelled so freaking bad, it stained the air in my car. But uh, on the way to the customer, I did pick up another order, $7.75, Chicky Wick action going over to the VA. I decided to take it just because, what happens if I go all the way back to the plaza? and I don't get anything, right? I'm just gonna be sitting there. With this 775, at least I know that I'm guaranteed right now to make $7.75. So that's where I'm headed right now. Hopefully it's not too backed up over there because it is, uh, well, it's 1250, so it's not prime time lunch rush. Oh yeah, good thing we took this then. Yeah, it's 1250, wow, I thought it was earlier. That's easy money right there, $7.75 going straight into the account. Okay, now that we are at the VA, we're next to the Walmart. I used to be so happy about that. I used to be like, oh man, yeah, I'm by the Walmart. I'm gonna get like a $30 shopping order nowadays probably 95% of the shopping orders are $11 and that's it that's if you get lucky because dude these people snipe those orders too and the thing is I realized what they do these guys in my market they have multiple accounts right they're using stolen social security numbers so what they do is they just stack the shopping orders and it's actually super smart right they know that they're not gonna get caught the IRS isn't going to come after them they're not gonna pay any taxes so what they do is they just accept two shopping orders at the same time and I actually see that when I go inside the Walmart they have two carts or usually the short the orders are so small they, they they split it up right they put one at the top end you know the the where like the kids sit and then uh, in the big basket part of it they put the other customer but it's super smart right I mean because they know they can get away with it. There's the MVP, ABC, $11.13, three and a half miles and only two items. Let's go ahead and go for one item two times, baby. One item two times. Ah, oh, so close, okay. Crown Royal uh, 80 proof blended Canadian whiskey, okay. Josh Sellers Reserve Cabernet Sauvington. Okay, this is going to be a bit of a challenge, but it's a challenge worth facing for $11. I went ahead and stacked the alcohol order with another chicken salad chick order. Showed up for $7 to go 1.1 miles, so I thought, why not? And then that way we can have an $18 stack again instead of just doing the $11. Okay, the chicken salad chick order is dropped off. She was outside talking to one of those door-to-door -door salesmen, so I just gave her the food and then I left. And now we have to go drop off the alcohol order, which is, let me see, how far is that away? 2.2 uh, .2 miles or six minutes. All right, very nice. $11, there it is, took me five minutes to shop for that order just because I couldn't find the Josh one that they were looking for. Well, this was actually a gift from someone to someone else. I guess the guy said that he did some work for them and he didn't want them to pay him. So what they did is they sent him the Crown Royale stuff. He said he liked that. So other than that, yeah, it took five minutes because I couldn't find the Josh one, the Josh reserve wine. I even asked the dude, the dude didn't even know where it was. So I just started scanning everything I could see. And the first thing that scanned in is the one that I picked up. 875, 8.3 miles. Nope, don't want to do that one. Let's go ahead and go back to the plaza. It's 1.40 2 p.m. which means it's coming up to my favorite time of the day, lunchtime. That's a good order right there. $15.64 to go three and a half miles and it's eight items from the ABC again. I wonder if we could stack this one too. Let's go ahead and see, is it actually eight items? Uh, wow, okay, so it's gonna be actually seven items. I don't like when it's that many items because it's a lot of chances for me to get lost in the store. But for 15 bucks, I gotta give it a chance. $15.64 and it only took me 4 minutes and 30 seconds to shop for that. Do you know how hard other people out there work to make $15 and I just made it shopping for 4 minutes? Ah, uh, granted, okay, I had to go deliver it to them. 
two miles away for 15 bucks, man. There's people out here struggling. There's people out here not knowing if they're gonna have food on the table. And I'm over here pooping on all these customers making all this money. That's how life should be, man. Now let's go to our next, actually 2.06 p.m. Should we go get some lunch? Oh man, I really wish I could get the sauced up tenders, but they're unhealthy, so I gotta go with the grilled chicken sandwich, which ain't bad, you know? It ain't bad, it's just not sauced up tenders. I don't like picking up from this Starbucks because they are abysmally slow. I mean, when I tell you they're slow, they're bad, man. I mean, they're bad. Pretty girls, but they're just really slow. I think it's because they push, like other places that I go to, they try to push out the, uh, the online orders, but this Starbucks over here, they push our orders to the side and do everybody else first, and that's kind of annoying because we're just standing there looking at them. But I'll go ahead and take it, 8.50 for 4.3 miles, at least it gives me something to do. This Starbucks order was surprisingly not bad. I went inside of the store, the order was ready, right there waiting for me. Just told the girl, hey, here for Ace, I'm gonna take this one. She said, all right, have a good one. And then uh, on the way to the customer, no traffic, so it was a quick drop off, and it was $8.50. The only thing is, it took me away from all the other restaurants, but even if I was at Tyrone or something, you're always inevitably going to go somewhere where it's a bunch of houses, because that's where people are ordering. Yeah, we could go ahead and do this one too. $7.45 for 3.2 miles. It's a dreadful hour, so you can't really expect much in these. Okay, one item that's actually looking actually. Ooh, and a medium drink. Okay, Kenneth, that looks really good actually. We'll go ahead and take this, make another 745. I was waiting here for a hot minute for an order to come in and I finally got one, $12.03, 2.9 miles, and it is five items from the ABC again. It's Friday, so a lot of people are gonna be ordering alcohol. I'm gonna go ahead and take it because I ain't getting nothing else better in. And it's 12 bucks, bro, 12 bucks for five items, that's easy. I feel like these apps really need to check their freaking pictures that they post uh, for some of these items, because I had to find this Welch's grape juice thing, and the picture that they put looked like a really big bottle of Welch's, so I'm looking around everywhere for it. Eventually, I get fed up, I asked the girl, I'm like, hey, where's the Welch's at? And she's like, oh, it's in the fridge. And the bottle was like this big, it's like one of those, it's one of those small bottles, you know what I'm saying, like 16 fluid ounces. She even told me, she's like, yeah, that picture looks nothing like that. So I was kind of struggling in there, that's why, uh, and it was right next to the counter when I found that last item, so I didn't record the items in the cart, but it was uh, relatively easy to find everything. I'm two miles away from the customer now, let's go make an easy $12. You know how Amazon's thing is that they deliver smiles? I actually think alcohol delivery brings more smiles than a package, because people know that once they drink that alcohol, once they put that inside their bodies, whether they like it or not, they're gonna feel better. <laughs> That's just the effects of alcohol, right? It just makes you feel like you're a somebody. It makes you feel like all those troubles that you went through the entire week, none of that matters because your mind is literally under the influence. Your mind is literally getting drowned in alcohol. You're not supposed to be putting that stuff in your body, you know, but we do it anyway as humans because our lives suck. You, you think those people that are super rich, you think, well, they probably do actually, yeah. I'm actually curious though. What do you guys think about this? You guys have more life experience than I do. Well, nah, because then you could always do the case of rich people are not happy, right? People always pull that card. So if rich people aren't happy, they get intoxicated. So that, yeah, you know what? Alcohol is for all people. Rich, poor, homeless. I remember I used to have a manager at Winn-Dixie and uh, you know, he's a manager, right? He was making more money than, uh, than us regular wages working there. Uh, and he hated his life too. So what he used to do is that he would um, purchase alcohol, uh, like beers, like a 24 pay or 24 pack, and then he would go out and drink it with the homeless people that would be by the Winn Dixie. He actually got so effed up one night that he opened the store. He had the key to the store because he was a closing manager, and he went back inside and uh, stole a case of beer, and then he uh, drank it, and then he knocked out in front of the store. And then the store director caught him outside. That was funny. I actually got a really good Spark order sitting over here at the plaza. Didn't think I would get anything from Spark because usually you have to be right in the parking lot to get something. But it's $27.63, 5.6 miles, and it's three customers. Now, I don't like taking Spark orders anymore. If I see the blue box that says alcohol, like these ones say extra earnings, 40 to 50 item or pound item and apartment. Anytime it says alcohol, I just worry that somebody else is doing the liquor portion of it, like liquor store. 
store portion of the order and then I lose half the tip. Like it's happened so many times and I've pooped on other drivers doing the exact same thing. So it's just really annoying to get an order that has like 100 plus units, 200 units, and you see that alcohol and you just know that they ordered from the liquor store too. So you're doing all of that work and you still get half the tip taken away from you. But this one doesn't show that, so we're gonna get the full $27.63. Can I start the trip, actually? Uh, 4.42, four, okay, so I can't start the trip yet, but I guess I'll just make my way over there now. This Walmart is abysmal. I think Walmart in general as a company is abysmal. It's a shame that I have to give them my money when I go grocery shopping. They just have all of the items I need in one place. I'm just that type of shopper. I would rather go somewhere where I can get everything I need in one spot, right? If I have to go to PetSmart or Petco and then go to Publix or somewhere like that, that's, that's too many places for me. I got an Ubi Scooby. Can I stack this? 667? Nope. Anyways, yeah, it's 5.23 p.m. I got that last order at, what, 4.30? And I'm just now leaving the Walmart. I mean, granted, okay, I had to wait till 4.44 to check in. So from, what, 44, 54, 04, 14? Yeah, 30, 40 minutes just to... uh leave the Walmart and then people wonder why I don't do spark anymore luckily it did not start raining super hard as I was dropping off these orders but one thing that I learned man I'm out here learning science when you're up top over there you see that big blue building if you were on the very top of that up there on the roof it would feel crazy that thing would start blowing you like crazy versus being at ground level I gotta start I gotta start learning why is that I think it has to do something with resistance I'm sure there's a lot more resistance at ground floor with all the buildings and stuff around us up there there's nothing stopping the wind so it's super strong and that's why the trees you see them at the very top you see those tall ones they're always swaying and they're going everywhere because there's no resistance up there I thought that was really cool too uh, like you see you see that tree up there you know it's just going in the wind but if I was standing standing right there it wouldn't be as crazy as up there anyways enough science lessons uh what do we get fourteen dollars fifteen thirty six not doing that one crazy is someone actually outside right now the lights on did somebody pass by i don't see anybody guess i'm gonna go right through it then nobody's there and the other guy the guy in front of me actually went too so all right i think i should probably stick to food delivery because if it starts pouring rain and i have to do an extra large order to somebody's house while the rain is pouring down on me and the customers are just laughing at me through the window. I'm not trying to have that happen. I went ahead and took a Miller's Ale House order, showed up for $8.34 for three miles, but getting there is just 2.1 miles, so it's gonna be actually less than a mile to drop this off to the customer for $8. Very nice, it is five items, and it's a Friday night. Oh, two of them are plastic cutlery though. So that makes it only three items, and it's Uber. Uber is usually a lot faster than DoorDash. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get any more drop-off actions unless I deliver somewhere where there is like an actual roof, not like this, where they just have it like in front of their door uh, because it's raining and it's also getting kind of dark because of the clouds. So, I mean, I'm still gonna tell you guys the orders that I'm taking. We're still gonna poop on customers here and there. I just need to get an order from a restaurant that has a bathroom because I've been needing to go for a while. This is the first decent order that's come in in a long while. I don't know what's going on it's raining outside so I thought the volume of orders would have been a lot better plus it's Friday oh here we go plus uh, 950 plus 0 0.9 miles a Roy tie okay so now we got a good stack there we go so we just got a $20 stack after that complaining plus this is a drizzly order so that does mean that I'm gonna get the tip in right away uh, two 12 times 12 pounds okay it's kind of kind of heavy things I don't want to be running back and forth between my car and the customer but okay we'll take it easy peasy man $20 headed straight into the account what did i just get 20 dollars, but 14 miles and it's a double order no thank you it's 6 55 p.m right now the rain is still going on which is actually nice for the traffic around here it's a friday so this place would have been completely packed right now but since it's raining and windy everybody's inside and hopefully ordering food so i can deliver it and alcohol because people usually tip better on alcohol orders uber has been the one to send me orders and they sent me another one it's a taco bell order for eight dollars and four cents showed up for four miles but it's about a mile when I got it about a mile away to the restaurant so it's actually gonna be eight dollars for three miles DoorDash has been kind of slow at least in this area don't know why it seems like see I don't know it seems like a lot of people in my market have shifted over to using uber eats more than DoorDash and I don't mind that because uber shows more pay I'd rather look at more pay and know what I'm getting versus DoorDash is six dollars and then it turns into 625 the only thing I'm worried about this five guys order is will it be ready when I get there it is 13 
$9.72. That's awesome. Five miles. I mean, I, I was headed in that direction anyway. It's just, will it be ready when I get there? Because the five guys, wait, did I actually get the order? Oh, I did get it. Okay, I just got a Winn-Dixie as well. Let's check out what this is. Winn-Dixies usually pay out some good money. Uh, not this time. Nine dollars, ten items, eight point four miles. Yeah, right. Why did they? Why did they send this to me? While I was dropping off that Grubhub order, I picked up a freaking banger. Okay, can that spark thing get out of the way, please, man? Get out the way. Okay, twenty-seven dollars and fifty cents. Walgreens order showed up as eight items, and it's actually going to be five items, and uh, it is kind of far. At the time when it sent me the order, it showed six point one miles. So at least I know it's not going to be over that because this Walgreens that I'm going to is kind of far. But also, there's not a lot lot of traffic out right now so I should be able to make it there really fast and then uh, make another 2750 that's freaking epic let's go $27.50 it was a $20 tip $2 peak pay actually that's pretty cool but $27.50 for two minutes and 44 seconds of shopping man who does it like me ain't nobody do it like me man I'm telling you that's why they be mad at me in the comments they be like how does Moo keep doing this how did he get a $27.50 order from being like five miles away this guy must be using some GPS tracking spoofing I ain't using none of that the secret is, I'm gonna tell you guys the secret, right? You don't wanna, you, I'm, I'm gonna actually expose it, right? Listen closely, I'm gonna actually expose this right now. The reason I'm able to get these orders and the other people in my market are not is because I'm a better driver. I'm a better shopper. I'm a better everything. I'm just better overall. So to put, it, put, put yourself in DoorDash's shoes. Would you send you an order? Ask yourself that. Look look yourself in the mirror. Look yourself in the mirror. Would you send yourself a $27.50 order with your work ethic, right? With the way you be driving? I wouldn't. <laughs> $14 going 6.1 miles. I don't love the mileage, but I'm not at the ABC yet, which is okay. Three items. Come on, man. Three things. Three things. I mean, one thing three times. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say. We two things. All right, what do we got? Tito's Easy Fever Tree Premium Ginger Beer. Oh, okay, that's just gonna be in the cooler. Very nice. We just made twenty-seven fifty. I think I'm gonna go make another fourteen right now. And you know what? I think I might stack this order too. I'm sitting in the car right now outside of ABC, and I just realized that I forgot to do my patented cart pushing recording. Even the great ones forget sometimes. Oui, they wanna give me $12.50 on the way back to the plaza and all I gotta shop for is one thing. Yeah, I'll take that. That last order was $14 as well. What do we get, man? Some Tito's, Tito's! Man, you already know what it is, man. We got some Tito's. That's what I'm saying though, man. They'd rather send it to me. They waited for me to drop off the order that I was doing so they could send me another one. They don't wanna send these orders to anybody else, man. They know me. They know me in these streets, bro. It's just that simple, man. I'm just too good. I'm just too good. I am an asset to these delivery apps. These other drivers out here, they're liabilities. I know those are big words for some of you. An asset is what I am. A liability is what I am not. Just remember that and you'll know the difference between an asset and a liability. Look at that, two miles away from the plaza. Why would they send this order to anybody else? Man, I know there was people closer to this ABC. They ain't gonna send it to them. When I'm out working, they know who to send it to. I hate when this happens. So I dropped off the order, but you can see no hotspots available. I didn't have service when I dropped off the order. I don't even know how it went through, but when this happens, it doesn't show me the ticket for how much the order was. I'm gonna go on a limb and say it was probably still just 1250 because it was only one bottle of Tito's and it wasn't even the big bottle. It was the 750 milliliter version of it. But yeah, drop that order off. It's 849, probably gonna end up going home soon because I got some lasagna at home. I know my haters are fuming at the sound of that man because they're eating trash they're eating mcdonald's wendy's chicken feet but me when i go home i got gatorade g fits and lasagna i mean how how can my life get better all right guys i think i'm gonna go ahead and call it here could i stay out and make more humble dollars yeah i definitely could i mean i'm a young man i'm full of life i got all this energy in me 
I could work as long as I wanted to. It's 8.57 p.m. though, I don't feel like working no more. Ooh, got an Uber in. It's gotta, it's gotta be a good order. It's gotta be a really good order if it wants me to stay out. I did the calculations though, and I'm gonna be finishing with $297.35. As always, you will see uh, all of the apps, all of the earnings at the very end of the video. No, I don't Photoshop them, get a life. Uh, yeah, other than that, I think we had a pretty good day today. Could I have made 300? Sure. Do I feel like it again? Nah, I just, I, there's really no difference. I mean, what's the difference between making $3 and saying, yay, I made 300. I'm going to wake up tomorrow morning and it literally starts from zero again. It's not like I start from the 300. Let's go ahead and open up Coinbase. Let's see what Solana's doing. We $173, making a little comeback. Let's go. It was down to 167 again. Bitcoin sucks. Bitcoin's really holding down the whole crypto market. We need some more ETFs, man. Where's the where where y'all at, man? Buy that Bitcoin ETF so that so that Bitcoin can go up and then Solana goes up with it. Or even better, we get a Solana ETF. Now that would be big baller. I think Solana would go to like a thousand dollars if it got a Solana ETF. Got an Outback Steakhouse. Go ahead and check it out. Uh, yeah, eleven bucks. Four point four miles though. Nah, eh, don't feel like going all the way over there. Got an Uber again. Ubi Scooby. Four dollars, can't do it, can't do it, can't do it, can't do it, can't do it. Let's go back over here. There we go, $173.90. You know what, I think I'll buy $25 worth. Why not? 0.14 soul, review the order, buy now. There we go, man. Now we got some more Solana, and we got an Uber. Five dollars, 1.6 miles, can't do that one either. PDQ, holy crap, I just dropped my phone. My hands are dry, sorry. $9, 5.2 miles. You know, these orders are kind of whack, I ain't gonna lie. I mean, there was a couple of good ones that came in, but yeah, for the most part, it's 9 p.m. The best customers are probably uh, not ordering right now. But regardless of that, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Have a good night, guys. And our Solana purchase went through. So out of the $50 that I spent, I now have $48.69 worth. I think it's cool to keep it on Coinbase. This way I can show you guys the actual amount of money. So I'm down, what, $1.32 uh, right now? Very nice, man. Soon we'll be up a million dollars. Have a good night, guys.